Sport and science are integrally linked. The application of science is really around preparing the athlete to execute what they're trained to do as best as possible. If we do maximise the human, then can we look at wearables as a means of driving the performance of the human further? So my visions was I wanted to play in the biggest competition in the world for the third time in my career and through wearable technology and the data still allowed me to play in another World Cup for Australia. Really what we're trying to do is bridge that gap between the athlete, the coach and the technology. So the data and information that we collect is really about movement and fundamentally that's where we start and finish. What we try and do is we try and make it so that we can measure not just where an athlete moved but how they moved. So when the device is on the body it tracks their movement kind of like a digital compass. It also attracts any impact that they have so if they get hit or change direction or anything like that and that information all gets stored on the device for later download and parts of it get transmitted back via radio frequency to a, a base station. That's what allows us to make decisions in real time and in game. Every movement in a sporting context has a fingerprint, a dive for a goalkeeper in soccer or a throw for a quarterback in American football has a specific fingerprint in the sensor data. And that gave coaches something really interesting that they'd never had before. So yeah, someone moved 11 kilometers and they did X amount of sprinting. But can we have a look instead at how much impact there was? How many times they were looking to their left or their right? Can we look at how they felt inside doing that movement? And what they use that data for primarily is to prevent injury and to look at maximizing performance. So for teams, it's about giving players feedback on how much they've done, both in a specific incident or a specific game, but also across a program, a season, a, a decade. Wearable technology used in the right way, I feel that it has a place in prehab and rehab in every single sport. I'm 34 years old now, last year I played 50 games. As the years have gone on, you smash your body and when you get to an age where you're like, whoa, I'm starting to feel these injuries, I can't train the same way that I've trained my whole life. Everything for technology is all about data. I want to know how far I run in training. I want to know my intensity. I want to know if I'm working hard enough or if I need to taper it down. If you could recreate something that would help to actually physically wear in a game, not training, you know, I feel that that's all that's needed. I played three games in a week last week and I want to know this week how I feel, my movements, whether it's lazy, lethargic. Is it smart playing three games this week? I want to know what I'm in for. A player playing in the Premier League will be retired when they're 34, 35. So technology has definitely played a positive part in, in for me prolonging my career. I think the goal of any piece of wearable technology is to enhance the experience of whoever's wearing it, using it or interacting with it. And as much as we try and make the athlete a machine and something that's predictable, in the end they're humans and you know wearables have a big role in measuring the human side of, of the athlete.